morning everybody, it's Amanda from scrimpingmummy.co.uk and I'm here today with coffee and a card. This is my favourite cup and it just about sums up my life. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Today I'm doing a larger card than normal, I'm doing a 6x6 six six square card. All the measurements are over on my blog, um, scrimpingmummy.co.uk, easy to find. I'm using very vanilla, daffodil delight and then I'm using very vanilla again. All the measurements are on my blog, but we're starting off with a 6x6 card, which is obviously started life, that's got a bit of squash, started life at 6 inch by 12 and scored at 6 and folded. And then we've got the coloured layer is 1 eighth of an inch smaller than that, so that is 5 and 7 eighths, yeah. And then this is quarter of an inch smaller than that, uh, 5 and 5 eighths, I think. I can't remember, I've forgotten now, it's, it's left my head, but I'll leave all the measurements on my blog. Um, I'm using the Blooms and Wishes, which is a beautiful stamp. I've only just bought it, even though it's been out a while. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. It is photopolymer, so I am using my stamping mat today, um, just to help me with this one. So, without further ado, what I'm going to do first of all is... Uh, do my flower stamping and I'm using I'm doing this larger flower here and I'm going to be using the stamens the leaves and I'm using this sentiment which is I would be lost without you I'm stamping my flower in daffodil delight which is just the same color as the cardstock and that's one of the benefits of stamping up everything matches there's no you know, sometimes you could go to a craft shop and pick up a shade of yellow card, then you get home, it doesn't match the colour of ink that you've got, that you've bought from another company. With stamping up, you know that everything's going to be the same. Um, right, so I'm stamping this kind of here. I'm just, I've got my sample card to the side of my, I did do a sample of this one, and I did it last night and it took me ages. <laughs> I was pulling my hair out because I just couldn't get it exactly how I wanted it, and then I cracked it as I often do. And I'm going to stamp this one just off the corner. If I get ink on my stamp mat, it doesn't matter, it just wipes off. It's only water-based ink and it will wipe off with a baby wipe. I'm stamping that one there and then I'm clattering on my glass mat, I do apologise. And then I'm going to stamp one just down in the bottom corner here, like so. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to add the stamen and now I've got all of my elements all on separate blocks. Okay, so that I don't have to keep chopping and changing and getting ink all over my finger. Is fingers. Um, I just need tangerine, no, pumpkin pie I used for the stamen, which is a lovely wintery orange colour. Again, not normally a colour that I choose, but... Uh, it is a beautiful colour. Okay, I'll stamp that there. Stamp that one there. Stunning, absolutely love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. And now I don't normally go for oranges. Oranges and greens, that sort of thing is not my normal choice. But that is beautiful. Okay, so that's that bit done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and carefully layer up some leaves. I'm using Lemon Lime Twist and I'm using Purple Zaz to give contrasting colours. And we've got uh, several leaves here. This has got like, this is like stems with bubbles on the end and these are leaves and that's a shorter leaf. Okay, so I'm just going to build up kind of a layer of, of colour. So I'm inking on with that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp off because I want that quite pale and what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to mask the rest of my my flower away and I'm going to stamp from halfway down you know so that only half of it's on my card rather than all of it like that okay so I'll do that just a few times randomly um, I'll have one there. I'm stamping off so that it's nice and and pale and Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll do it all the way around. I'll have 
for that one quite pale. I'm concentrating. If I go quite, I'm either asleep or I'm concentrating. Okay, so just don't, don't worry. I'm all right. I'm just, I'm stamping. <laughs> I really want this to come out nice so that you can see how lovely this stamp set is. And I also want to show you how, you know, I'm not a massively artistic person. I just craft because I like crafting. You know, I'm not amazing. I'm not a big, massive, you know, celebrity whatever you know I'm just a normal mum sat at home and I like to stamp um, but at the same time I want to get I want it to look nice I don't want it to look like you know one of the dogs has done it so <laughs> but I, and I want to show you how easy you can do it as well um, and it's great fun okay I think we'll leave that at that I'll just have one up there like that happy with that right and then I'm going to use one of the larger leaves and I'm going to use let me just move this out of the way because I will stick my elbows on it I know I will move that out of the way so now I'm on with my paper zars, which is just a slightly darker colour um, so I'm going to leave that in its full strength as it were but again I'm just going to be careful because I don't want to over stamp it onto too much onto my flowers there we go and then that darker colour then just contrasts uh, nicely with that um, lemon lime twist. Mm. On there. So this bit, you know, it takes a bit of time. I've got to be careful. So you can fast forward me if you want. I won't mind. I won't be offended if you fast forward me. <laughs> I'll just never speak to you ever again. <laughs> Sorry, right. I remember. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm just trying to be careful so that it comes out nice. Uh, we'll have one over here. Like so. And you know, if you just take your time, you can get some lovely results. <clears throat> I think I want one over here as well. I'm just masking off that flower and then I can have just the top. These leaves will just peek over the top of that flower then. Like so. Ta-da. Quite uh, pleased with that. And then this is just a smaller leaf and it kind of curves. So it's just a contrast of shapes. And now this one I'm using the same colour which is purpose as. I've got ink on my, on my card. Oh, never mind. Don't matter. Don't matter. It'll add to the shabbiness. It's a shabby sheet card now. <laughs> now I've bobbed ink, to ink everywhere. It's a shabby sheet card. Right, so I'm stamping off. I'm using the same ink, but I'm stamping off. And then it gives a, a, you know, a lighter colour, so it just looks um, a, di a bit different. Okay, see what I mean? And then you've got a, you know, a big contrast of colours and leaves layered up, and it'll look amazing. Okay. Let's have that one up there. Um, I need one down here, don't we? And you just keep going until you've got sort of an even look, you know. I mean, flowers in the wild aren't perfect, are they? So it doesn't need to be perfect, so don't worry. In fact, I'm going to leave that one like that. And then here I'm just going to have one over here, I think. Just mask that off and put that leaf there. Okay, so there we go. That's that bit done. And now what I'm going to do is I can now move that onto my normal mat because I'm going to be using one of the red rubber stamps, which I've already got the spongy layer on, so you don't need the stamp pad. And I'm just going to move these out of the way. Using smoky slate here, and that's why this bit of an ink splodge isn't going to matter because I'm turning my card into a, a kind of a vintage shabby sort of look. So I'm just I'm using this script stamp, which is from Background Bits, which is a hostess set, um, but it's absolutely stunning. If you can get it, get get hold of it, then get it. So I'm stamping off a couple of times with that so that this is really pale. So I'm going to stamp over the top of where I've just blobbed that ink everywhere and it won't matter because it's going to blend in with this script writing there you go see so you know it doesn't matter you can't tell 
and then I'm stamping off twice here. Now I want this to be kind of straight. So I'm just lining it up like that. There we go. And it's beautiful. It's kind of like fading out. So I want it really faded. And again, I'm going to try and line that up straightish. Okay, like that. Yeah. And then down at the bottom, stamping off, I'll just do one staggered about there. Okay. So there we go, we've got that effect going on. That looks really lovely. <clears throat> Let me just put my inks away. I've got my dressing gown on. You might see it while I'm reaching for stuff. It's because I'm constantly cold. <laughs> um, so I wear my dressing gown in the house. I'm really glamorous. <laughs> right, so now I'm just going to let that dry because I'm going to do another process to it. But I want it to be nice and dry. I don't want to get ink everywhere while I do it. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment now and I've got some off cuts here and I'm stamping the, what's it say, uh, I would be lost without you, there we go and I'm doing that in basic grey. Sometimes black is a little bit harsh so I'm doing it in the basic grey. So plenty of ink on that. Okay. Line that up on my grid mat so that I can get it fairly straight to start with and then when I cut it, it won't be on the wonk. Although it won't really matter uh, in this instance because we're going to distress it. There we go, look at that and that font is stunning, I love it. I'm just going to give that a waft. And then that bolder ink you see against the stamped off paler ink is another contrast. Right, so I'm just going to cut this by hand, I'm not die cutting, you don't need loads of dies to make pretty cards. Okay. Alright, so that's that. And then I am going to distress it. So let me just rub that on my mat just to make sure that that ink's dry because I, I need to handle it and I don't want it to smudge. Okay, I'm confident that that's dry. And now I'm going to use the edge of my, these scissors have got kind of like a serrated edge, so they're awesome for distressing. And I'm going to really rag it. I want it to be really tatter. Okay. Oop, that's ripped a bit, but it doesn't matter. I don't want it to rip too much. <laughs> We want it to look distressed, but we don't want it to look ruined. <laughs> I've got to do it again. I don't want to be doing it again. Uh, I think I need more coffee this morning. I'm running late because I had a lie-in. I thought, why not? It's um, We're still on school holidays. Alexia doesn't go back until tomorrow. So that's not big enough. So we're having a bit of a laze. Yep, that's fine. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a bit of a ruffle so it's creased and a worn sort of look. You know, stopping short of like screwing it up in a ball, but we want it to be, to look worn. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to glue that. Oh, I'll just reach for my glue. Onto some very vanilla. Come on, glue. Not very vanilla. We're gluing it onto uh, Daffodil Delight. Glue that on. And we've got that crinkly look going on there. And then we'll cut that out and we'll distress that the same. Try and speed it up a bit. It just when you do this it just gives a little bit of texture and it also gives a bit of dimension different kind of dimension to a project um, you know everything doesn't have to be straight crisp clean white lines um, you know play with stuff and oops 
Okay. So again, I'm just going to ruffle that about. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals and stick that on. Which, of course, they're all in a big mess in my box. Need to sort those out. Uh, so just the two will be enough. Um, like that. Take those off. Okay. And then I'm going to... I'm not going to put it down flat. I'm going to kind of like bow it, but only slightly. So just bow it and push. And I'm sticking it between that script right in there. And there we go. We've got like a shabby look going on there. And then, of course, we're going to... What we've done to the sentiment, we're going to do to the card. Okay. So again, you can fast forward this bit if you want. I don't know how to edit my videos. <laughs> I'm not technical that way. So just fast forward if you want. If not, you can stay and listen to me waffle. I do apologise if it's a bit long, but I like to show the whole process uh, of card making in case something goes wrong. If you start and fast forward stuff, Folk miss, you know, they might miss an important element out. And anyway, I like waffling. <laughs> I like chatting to people. Get that so them edges are nice and furry. Nice and furry and, and tatter looking. That's what you want. So the, the, the more tatter you can get it, the better. But it's an organised tatter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't take it out in garden and jump on it. Although that might be an interesting idea to try. <laughs> Get rid of that furry bits. And then I'm going to do the same to the... Oh, off they go. On cue. Dogs are barking. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Been quiet as a mouse all morning, but when I'm filming, you're off. <laughs> I need to go live like in the city where there's not as many creatures. There's birds and there's cats and there's hedgehogs and foxes and goodness knows what are you. And that's besides the sheep and the cows in the back field. So they're off. <laughs> I have shit zoos. Anybody that's uh, new to watching me, I've got two shit zoos. And they think that they are Rottweilers. They do. They think they're great big dogs and they're not. Right. So I'm happy with the distress. Look, can you see how it's all ragged up and furry? <laughs> That's my elegant technical name for that. Ragged up and furry. But it's right. That's what it looks like. Okay. So now we're going to put that on there. And because it's a nice square card, it doesn't matter which way around we do it. Because... All the sides are the same. And we've got that beautiful sort of distressed look there on that card. Now I'm just going to add some, just a little touch of sparkle to this card. So if you can, then, you know, go the whole hog and make them a bit special. And I'm using these glitter enamel dots. And I'm using this colour, which is like a deep blue. Not quite sure what that colour is, but it's, it's going to contrast nicely with these orange and yellows I think so I've only got whatever sizes I've got so some might get bigger centres than the other but I'm not really worried about that too much okay put that on there like that and then we'll just have the one there um, I could put some more of the yellow ones round and about but it, to be honest I don't want to overdo it too much because I'm now going <laughs> to... I don't want to ever do it but I'm going to add some Winker Stella. Mine's running out. Let me just give it a squeeze, see if I can get the last drops. And I'm just going to just flick it on the stamens. And it doesn't always show up very well on video. I think, it, I think that has gone. I think it's run out. It has. It's gone. It's run out. I'll have to use contraband glitter. I'll use this contraband, but I'll just, like, I'll hide the name. <laughs> I 
run out of Winker still. Oh, that's a crime. Right, so I'm using this Contrabland glitter instead. Don't matter. Just dotting it round and about. I'm going to have to use my... There we go. Use my little brush. That's what I'll do. I'll put a pile of it there and I'll use my brush. There we go. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Don't use contraband. <laughs> it's disgraceful. <laughs> oh dear. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick that over the leaves as well. Okay. And it will just give it a sparkle when it hits the light. Which you probably won't see on camera. But I can see it and it looks really pretty. Okay, good job I've got back up. Uh, I knew that this was running out, to be honest. I, sh I should have replaced it sooner. But there you go. My husband always says, Amanda, you would run out of nutmeg. <laughs> Honestly, that's what he tells me. Because I do, I run out of stuff. I'm like, oh, no. I have to nip to call up. Yeah. I'm just going to add just to the odd few leaves, not all of them. Just because I just like a touch of glitter. And it does show, and it does, you know, catch the light then, doesn't it? Just in little places. So if somebody's got it on the windowsill, you know, if you've gifted it to somebody, it will catch the light nicely and just give that little bit of a sparkle. Okay. Uh, so now I'm just going to add some glue. Get that onto my, oops, I'm nearly knocked my camera over then. Add that onto my card, like so. Just pressing gently because that glitter glue is dry. And then what I'm going to do, if it, if it will allow me to, I'm just going to pull up that corner. Yes, it will. I'm just going to pull that up. And just wrap it around my pokey tool. And same at the bottom. Just as a little finishing, distressed kind of look and there we go quite a long process but it's a very very oops sorry a very pretty card um and it will catch the light with that lovely glitter i hope you enjoyed that i hope you'll give it a try thanks for watching bye for now